It's Friday. And you know what that means. It's Full Disclosure Friday. Now this week's question comes from one of my Microsoft 365 Masterclass students. He asks, been Apple person for 15 years. Would I be swimming against the current for all this training if I remained with Apple? With Microsoft and eDiscovery growing, it really seems smart to move back to a Windows-based PC world. Well, Chris, here's what I've got to say about that full disclosure coming up. I've been an Apple person for years as well, so I completely understand what you mean there. When it comes to using Apple products versus using Microsoft products, frankly, I love them both. I love Apple products because their hardware is amazing. In fact, right now I'm using QuickTime on my iMac but I also use a MacBook Pro and that's awesome for me when I'm on the go. However, most of your offices today will use a PC, a Dell, an HP, something along those lines, but running a Windows operating system. Now, having said that, as a paralegal, I do think that you should be well-versed in both Apple and Microsoft products. I do think that you should be able to navigate through the operating systems of both both Apple products and Windows-based products, you know, Windows 10, Windows 11, you need to be able to navigate th through those things. It's important that you understand the differences as well, depending on what device you are using, what operating system that you are using. For instance, when you are in a Windows environment, you're working with File Explorer versus working on a Mac and you're working with Finder. Working in a Windows environment, you're gonna be working with Excel, but working in a Mac environment, you're gonna be working with numbers. On a Mac, you're gonna be working in Keynote, but on a PC and Windows operating system, you're probably going to use PowerPoint. Now, that is not to say that you can't use PowerPoint, Excel, Word, things like that on a Mac, because you absolutely can. However, it is important that you understand that there are differences in the way that those things operate under a Mac versus a Windows operating system. So I know that can get really technical there, but bottom line, when you are working for law firms, you are more than likely going to be working on a PC. You are more than likely going to be working in a Windows operating system. However, I do think that it would be great if you would be well-versed in both of those. And that just means that you can handle almost any situation that comes at you. Because I got to tell you, while people tend to have PCs at the office, I can't tell you how many partners I've worked with that have run out and purchased MacBooks. And then they get in that, you know, Apple universe there and they're working, you know, with those applications and, and now they're, they're having to work with an iOS and things like that. And they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's because it's a completely different language, which is why it's important for you to be well-versed in both. I mean, when I have an attorney call me about a situation going on in his MacBook, but I am working on a Windows machine, I can still troubleshoot his MacBook issues and vice versa. So being a really awesome paralegal boss that you are, you will be well-versed in both PC and Apple products. So there you have it, full disclosure. Thank you so much for joining me on Full Disclosure Friday. If you have a question that you want me to answer on Full Disclosure Friday, then please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that thumbs up so more people get alerted about this content that I've got here. Don't forget to click that bell notification also to receive a notification of each time I post. All right, good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs an amazing paralegal boss just like you. Have an awesome rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend ahead of you and I will see you guys back here on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.